Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. The stream is finally starting after a whole 24 hours. I overslept so bad yesterday, dude. Like, I woke up, I looked at the time, it was like 1 or 2.30. I was like, damn. I'm gonna play tomorrow. Fuck it. But we're finally here. I think the map just changed. And we got... Let's see. We got a whole... It will not change. Three days until next season. And... So that means this is indeed the last stream. Well, last Apex stream before the new season. So it starts in three days. So today's Friday. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. If new season is on Tuesday, I might actually just start playing on Tuesday. Recently, they released a new, um, like, they officially released Revenant's new kit for Revenant Reborn. I'm kind of sad because they didn't, they didn't stick with, like, the, the wall jump. Well, maybe they didn't stick with it. Maybe they just, like, didn't have it in general. But wall running would have been amazing. But I like the sound of his new kit. So, I'm excited to see what what people do with him. In general, I think they're just giving him more fighting capability. I mean, it makes sense. He's an assassin in lore. So, having more fighting capabilities is kind of what he should do. I kind of wonder if they're going to turn him to a skirmisher though, since they're adding like more movement uh, or like his tactical is changing to a pounce, which seems more of a movement thing. And then his passive is already kind of a movement thing anyways, since, you know, he's, um, he, he's climbing faster he and he's crouching faster. So I wonder what they will do. I'm dead. Dude, I'm like dead sliding everywhere. Holy. Okay. Maybe I should have warmed up a bit before... Before I, I hopped in like an actual match. But... <laughs> well, the stream started. So, I don't think I'm gonna just like go in the range and fuck around. But... <sighs> I'm excited to see what... Revenant can do next season since I don't know if he'll overtake people like Horizon because Horizon is just like overpowered low key so I think he'll be kind of niche but playing him will probably be fun he'll probably get played as much as like Bloodhound maybe since Bloodhound like if you're going for a scan legend Seer is probably just better in terms of like scanning so if you're going for like a skirmisher or someone with movement, you go for like Octane or her Horizon probably or Pathy. Speaking of Pathy, I've actually I want to go on a Pathfinder training arc so bad. Like Pathfinder, I think has um. In my opinion, he has the most like freedom in terms of movement. Cause obviously his grapple can go uh, three dimensions. You can go, uh, you can like sling very far or you can sling upwards. And then the cooldown is not very long and you just like do a lot of fun plays with him. But since the beginning of time, since I started playing Apex, I have never been able to like successfully use gra um, Pathfinder's grapple like the way I want. So I don't know. I keep landing with an R3, man. This this game knows I hate this gun. To be honest, I don't like flatline much more either, so like... I know you're there, come on. Okay. Apparently I'm hitting my wingman shots at least, okay. That's what I like to see. Give me that. I don't know if I said this before on stream, but I'm weird as hell. I like the, the one or two times a lot more 
than just straight up the the two times. I know the two times bruiser the because it's like an H cog right? It got that like two sides, but I've always been or not always, but especially recently I've been a big fan. Oh shit! I did not see that guy. Don't shoot me! Don't shoot me! Don't shoot me! You pushing me? Shit. This is kind of a tough one. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Dude, everyone's sniping. What's going on? Where'd you go? Come on. See, now if I was Pathfinder, I'd grab one of that rooftop, like right there. And start doing something, but... Since I'm Bloodhound, I cannot do that. See, that guy's Pathfinder. Everyone plays Pathfinder. I feel like Pathfinder is like... It feels like one of the most streamer legends to play too. I don't know if that's just me. Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead, dude. Oh my gosh. I almost killed that bang too. Okay. That was just simply a matter of... I didn't know where people were. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like... There, there were the people on the roof. There was that fuse on the way... All the way like on that side. I feel like if I didn't get... Destroyed by that fuse. I would focus on him instead of the climbing revenant. Maybe, maybe I would have done something more. To be honest, I thought the that they were like maybe separate teams and the the fuse was healing or something. Oh well. Maybe, maybe one day I'll go on a Pathfinder training arc. Maybe, maybe sometime next season I'll make a whole stream out of it. Just only Pathfinder. But at least for now, I'm a I'm a chill. Right now, I'm just kind of playing Bloodhound because there's nothing, there's nothing to like crutch on, so it, it just forces me to position and it forces me to hit my shots, I guess. Dude, I cannot use the prowler for shit. Oh my gosh, saving grace. I didn't think he was gonna push me when there are that many people. <laughs> Welcome, Blade. Hello, hello. Maybe we'll see a top tier Bloodhound play. Maybe. But the way it's looking right now, I don't know. I've been playing with um, Wingman PK combo a lot lately. I think. I mean, overall, if you're having a good day with. PK wingman you're you're kind of like kind of beat everyone cuz you have um you peek out for like the most minimal time but you output like hella damage so I would love to play PK wingman I'm just saying
if Bloodhound doesn't go well, maybe I'll maybe I'll switch to like Octane. Speaking of Octane, I was playing with um I was playing with a friend last night and he doesn't play Apex much, so like probably the, the lobbies were like lower, so uh so like the enemies weren't like everyone in the lobby wasn't probably as skilled. But I was playing with them yesterday, and I managed to farm a 4k on Octane. And not just Octane, I managed to farm a 4k on, uh, I think Bang too. So, that was cool. I kind of feel bad though, because I, uh, looking back on yesterday, I'm not the best person to play Apex with, because, uh, you'll never catch me playing slow in like um in a public match or like in unranked or unranked or up until like plat i'll play fast since i'm trying to like get damage trying to farm kills because i just want to i want to play the game i don't want to loot stop Dude, I hope he doesn't have a friend. Okay. I hope that Revenant is solo. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, he's just chilling at the door. But I'm not a good person to play with. Especially if you're a beginner. Like, I play way too fast, and since he doesn't really- oh shit, they're right there. Since he doesn't really play the game, I just kind of force him to go at my pace. So... He doesn't have time to loot, or stuff like that. Oh shoot, I'm dead. No! Oh my god! I was hitting those PK shots! No! If I had a little bit more sp If I had a little bit more space... If that Pathfinder missed maybe like... Five more shots... I might have won that. Man, the PK... Okay, give me... Yeah, just give me PK Wingman for today, man. Like, I'll be... I'll be so happy if I get those two in my loadout. Skull Piercers and Craft... Honestly, I don't like crafting in... Or like, if, if I don't need to, if it's not ranked in like Diamond Lobbies, I don't like crafting. It just takes like too long. Unless like, I can craft an R9 maybe, because sometimes you just have bad guns. Like, if I have... Um, a car or an alternator, then I might as well just craft an R9 because R9 is just like better versions basically. I've been liking the bolts a lot too. Maybe PK bolt. Hmm. The possibilities are here. I hope I didn't deter my friend from playing more. Apex, so I hope I hope because honestly, it wasn't a fair experience. <laughs> this is your champion. I'm currently at the top of my game. Uh, I got caffeine on me. I have energy drinks. I have uh, usually, um, so there's a reason why I usually don't stream on Fridays. I, um, I usually go get tea on Friday because I got a friend that's working in a place nearby so I can just walk over uh, have a good chat get some tea and then have a good day after but I don't think he's working today so not much I can do oh this isn't looking good 
No, I thought it was a RE45. I'm not gonna lie. Drop then. I dare you. Come on. Come on. This game actually keeps dropping me with an R3. No! No! <laughs> oh, that's good. If... If you love playing with them and like they're still like above your level, then that's still good. Cause, I mean, that just means that you're you guys are having a chill time playing with each other. Personally, I thing is I think Apex is one of the like things I'm more passionate about in general. Like I actually like for one, I I like actually care about patch patches. I like look at stuff ahead of time. I care about. I mean, I don't really care about meta. I don't like play meta, but I keep up with it just because I want to know what other people might use. So I do all that for Apex, but um, I can't say that there are other people that do the same in my in my friend group at least. The thing is, even within our friend group, we only have like three maybe four apex players so we, we have basically enough for one one three sack and that's it <laughs> i've been trying to branch out on other, other games so actually um just the other day actually not even the other day like literally yesterday night i've been thinking about uh what are the games i could play especially on stream since i've just kind of been running the loop of like Destiny and Apex and then a third game which was recently Portal 2 and then a few weeks back it was Tower Fantasy but I've been um I've been looking into other games that might be fun to play so we'll maybe we'll see a, a new game soon Yeah, I 100% I agree with you. I actually do like like a good challenge in a game. Like... I, I enjoyed Genshin for a good time. Don't get me wrong. Like, I spent a lot of money. I <laughs> I hate saying that, but I spent a lot of money. I, I played for quite a bit up until... I think uh, up until Ito came out. But then... But then Genshin just becomes kind of easy, especially after you get after especially after I got Ganyu, so it just didn't really like it didn't like push me at all. Oh no, he armor swapped. What? What happened? <laughs> I'm so confused. He pushed up. But he didn't shoot anything. Oh my gosh. He got my loadout! <laughs> Maybe Overwatch. Um, I'm not a, as much a, of a fanatic as the others in my group. Because, um... I... Do I hear people? I played Overwatch starting... Like, freshman year. But even then, I wasn't very like active i maybe played like oh no i maybe played like no dude i swear the pk keeps getting these people won <laughs> but anyways um i i didn't i don't have that much of a history on overwatch a lot of my overwatch gameplay has been on Overwatch 2. I I main like especially when Overwatch 2 first released, it was like the next big thing basically, right? And now like uh I feel like not many people play it. It's not very mainstream anymore. But um back when it was uh, first released, I actually played a lot. 
with uh, the entire friend group because they all played Overwatch 1 like crazy. Like, uh, I think it was probably the first shooter for a lot of them. And uh thing is, I didn't get into shooters till Apex. So... It was uh it was like their foundation for a lot of them and I only started playing with them like a few years back, so I don't have that much of a history in Overwatch. I'm down to play. I I'm now that you're like mentioning it, I'm like considering it too. Since I didn't like consider it really uh last night when I was like brainstorming. But that could be one to play. Thing is, more so than like any other shooter in my opinion. Like more so than Apex, more so than like Valorant, more so than um... What's another shooter I played? I don't know, but more so than Apex and Valorant. <laughs> uh, Overwatch is a very, very like team based game. Like if one person slacking in the five, of, like of your team of five, if one person slacking, I feel like your chances of winning are like extremely low like extra 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 low compared to any other game massive not hitting oh he jumped i say it's not hitting and i do that Okay, maybe it is hitting. I'm okay without the prowler though. I would love... Better shield. But... Um... Mostly yesterday though, I was brainstorming like... More... More... Story-ish type games. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm kind of scared that there's more people because um this place is usually a hot drop oh i did brainstorm persona um what's called yesterday i i was thinking about it problem is uh i don't really have any i don't yeah i don't have any like knowledge of what persona is which might be a good thing maybe maybe it's a good thing i can like start to get into it so, I do have that as like... Oh, I hear people. Where are you going? So, I do have that like... It's kind of saved as a maybe. Where are they going? Why are you running? I think if I were to play Persona, I'd have to look into it somewhat. Just cause I don't even know like what type of playstyle the game is. So like I don't know if it's term term type game or if it's lifeline there or is she gone? She's over there. Both of them are over there. I want to Evo to purple. But then I'll actually stand a chance. Cause uh, turn-based games, I I wouldn't say they're my like my most sought after game. I've always like like more dynamic playstyles, like um like Apex, where shit like just changes 
every game. But I've looked into it because I would love to expand my horizons. They're leaving, I guess. That works too. I think one might peek out. Oh my gosh, guys, please peek out. <laughs> I'm like wasting my ult. That was such a waste of an ult, dude. It was crazy. Reporting. It's my time. Dude! Why are they running? They're running so far too. What's even happening? Go ahead, run. If that lifeline goes on that zip, she's dead. Oh no, she's not dead! Shit, where'd she even go? Ah, oh, why? They flew so far! Wait, what is this? Wait, they haven't even tried to fight me. What are they doing? I've been stuck fighting the squad for yeah, however long this match has been going on. What? They are so weird. Um, but I will definitely look into um, Persona at the very least. Did they even leave? Wait. No, they they just straight up left. They didn't wait. They sh They saw me and they didn't even shoot at me. Like, I mean, they shot at me, but even like when that Wraith first saw me, they didn't even try to fight me before before she left. What? <laughs> That's so strange. Damn it, I kind of wish I killed that lifeline. It would have forced the Wraith to like stay behind at least a little bit. Shoot, okay. I honestly, damn, they were just like blocking doors and stuff too. They were like stalling so hard. I need... Oh, just out of habit, I'm like pinging stuff. Alright, I guess since I got the time, might as well do this. This no tracker thing is kind of cool actually. But they can't really use that outside of an event. Just because it can give you literally care package weapons off drop. Even if they nerf it, I feel like it's pretty overpowered since... One, if you get a uh, middle game, it's kind of a waste of time. If you get it too early, it's pretty overpowered since it can give you like purple and gold. But the no tracker itself is a pretty cool, pretty cool thing. Oh, they're shooting over there. Can it spawn inside a building? I don't think so. What? What? <laughs> Oh, it's up there. It can spawn on buildings? Nah, I'm not gonna climb up there. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the third party, man. Okay. They got one down. That PK over there. They don't know what's coming. I am Bluff Hunter! Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Push me, come on. 
What? They're running again! I'm so dead. No! I had to reload! Why is everyone running, man? Damn it. Loba mission? Um, I'm not sure if I did Loba mission, but uh, I've just been collecting nodes. And honestly, I was going to use them to buy battle pass levels at first, but I didn't read that yet to redeem all rewards. I already, um, I already have good Loba skins, so I'm not really too interested in getting, uh, getting, what's it called? The Loba, the epic Loba skin. So, I'm just, just kind of collecting them for cosmetic at this point. Uh, I'll play Octane this time. Everyone's running, so I gotta run faster than them, dude. <laughs> Maybe you I, I talked about this a bit with Kento when we saw the trailer for the new season yesterday. Um, Revenant sounds like he would be a really good 1v3 or like clutch legend. Because his ult basically gives him an extra shield. He gets a shadow that absorbs damage. And the shield, or the shadow I guess, uh, recharges... It, it refreshes or you gain more shadow if you get a knock while it's active. So, I mean like... You go in, you fight, you can play aggro since you have more shields than the other person. So you're already at an advantage. And then if they hit hurt you at all, then you don't have to like take a bat or anything. You could just literally... You, you can go next. You can just look at the other person because uh, the shadows will regen. So, I'm interested in playing. Kento also seems interested in playing. I would love to see how it goes. No! Oh man. Why couldn't the R3 just be that little bit stronger, dude? No! They're so close every time! <laughs> oh no! They're actually so close every time, dude. Uh, maybe I should've stimmed. Okay, maybe if I stimmed the... Uh... I can't remember who it was. Was it Bloodhound? Maybe Bloodhound would've missed more shots. Anyways, back to uh, like... Possible games I might play in the future. Uh, so I've thought about Persona, I've thought about, I do like Murder Mystery, but, um, I haven't really thought about Danganronpa. I haven't heard anything about it. I think, in general, Persona is a more popular series. Just, like, in general, I've seen more people play it. I've thought about playing, oh, in, I've thought about playing Digimon Survive or Digimon Cyber Sleuth. Because I'm I'm a huge Digimon fan actually. I think Digimon actually played a bigger role in my childhood than like even Pokemon. Like of course everyone knows Pokemon, like Pokemon's great and all. They have very cool what's it called very cool mechanics, very cool uh designs. But I've always liked the idea of Digimon. Like you have one partner and they're just, they're like basically your life partner and you can revert back and forth digivolve and um go back to your base if you want their designs are very cool yeah like a lot more digimon are like cool and more monster like i mean they're literally digital monsters but a lot more digimon are like monster like well, I feel like a lot more Pokemon. Pokemon has catered to like um, the younger generations. Like they're more cutesy. They look more like comfortable and all that stuff. They they look cool. Like some of them look cool, but then a lot of them also look cutesy. 
but I Digimon you kind of have both because the the rookie form which is like the form they start in right they're they're like cute because they're they're small and they're like you can make them into marketable marketable plushes but then you digivolve like once or twice and boom they're like the coolest looking motherfuckers out there So I'm definitely, I, I I don't even think that's a maybe I'll play. I think that's a 100% I'll play Cyber Sleuth at least. I'm maybe thinking about Digimon Survive because I've seen the gameplay and it's more like, um, it's more of like a checkerboard kind of and you move them back and forth. So I'm, I might do a little bit more research on that. But Digimon Cyber Sleuth, I'm 100% down to play. Like... Digimon is so cool. And then, uh, I have thought about starting up another Minecraft save. Come on. I might die right here. Okay. Okay, let's calm down. Oh, I'm dead. Anyways. <laughs> I, I've thought about starting another uh, modded Minecraft save. I think I've said it a little bit before where I kind of grew up on modded Minecraft rather than vanilla Minecraft. And this time, I'm not sure if Kento or Sky wants to play this time around. But even if they don't, I'd love to just like play on my own, re-explore some of the some of the mods that I had back then. So modded Minecraft, I'm definitely thinking about playing. And then I'm not even really sure what the games I've been. So I have a sticky note, but I can't really pull it up right now since I play on Stretch, so it's gonna. I play Apex on stretch, so it's gonna mess up my whole system. <laughs> but Digimon, 100%. Minecraft, 100%. Maybe, maybe Persona, maybe. Um... Oh, I thought about playing Cuphead. Cuphead and Mega Man. I've always, uh, I've seen a lot of people play like the platformers. Platformers seem very fun, especially like Mega. Like Mega Man's cool, dude. <laughs> You, you fight the, uh, like, uh, the infected robots and you literally get their abilities. Like, that's so sick. So, I've thought about playing Mega Man. Um, I've thought about playing Cuphead because... The, just the whole aesthetic of Cuphead is, um... It looks super cool. It's, like, kind of old-fashioned. It's, like... I don't even know what era. Like, is it 70s? Is it 80s? 60s but the old kind of the old kind of animation looks super nice and from what i heard it's like it's like a hard platformer oh, i'm dead i didn't know he was behind me uh so like the hard kind of platformer I'm, I'm down to play and i think that's pretty much all i brainstormed the problem with playing horror games is I'm kind of a wuss. I I don't know if I'll be able to like progress through cup or not through cuphead through horror games a lot. If like if if the horror game is like story driven and I gotta like go certain places do certain tasks, then it might take a while before I like get on track. You know. So I'm I'm setting aside horror games for now, in case uh, may, maybe like if a new one comes out, like a, a fun looking horror game comes out, then I'll play it. And then um, what the games were was I thinking about? Oh, I was thinking about Telltale games. Like, they're they're very story driven, but you can make your own choices and stuff, and it changes uh. It changes the outcome in certain scenarios. 
what's really interesting about Telltale games, in my opinion, is um, you get to you get to see the choices you made compared with other people. So, like, for example, if you chose like to kill this character, then at the end they would tell you, oh, like, you're in the minority because eighty percent of people chose to keep this character alive. I think that's really cool because. I I kind of like the psychology aspect of it, to some extent. Detroit Become Human, maybe, but the one thing deterring me from playing Detroit Become Human is the fact that I've already seen playthroughs. Oh, I did not gawk my PK. So I've already um, I've already seen Detroit Become Human gameplay like. Way back when. Uh, I'm not sure if it's when it was first out. But. Um, I did see gameplay of it. I can't remember much though. So maybe. It's like. It's a maybe. I also gotta keep in mind. That I'm a broke college student. And I have to pay for. Most of these games if I want to play them. So that's also a thing. But. Story games, definitely I want to get into. In general, I've never been like a single player story driven game type person. Because, um, I mean, I like playing with friends. I, I like playing with other people. So, uh, I've never gone like deep into a story driven game. I've watched other people play them. I've watched like, um, I mostly watch like game theory play them. Because they're smart people and I like them. So, to chill, but I've watched story driven games. I've like been like, I've been like, oh, I would make this choice. I would do that instead or like compared my answers with them basically. And, uh, super fun. So may I'm like 100% down to, to look into that. I think the biggest project is probably, or like what would take the most work is modded Minecraft just cause I wanna, I mean like we already have a modded, I, I never deleted the modded server, I was in charge of uh, putting up the modded server when we first played. Fun fact, it was still the first stream, so modded Minecraft is the first thing I ever have archived in this channel. Oh no. Please give me this. I'm one. Please don't hit me. Please, please, please. No! Okay. Um. Maybe Octane is like bad news. Maybe, maybe Octane is not meant to be right now. Um. Let's just ready up first. Like, I don't know if I've ever gone out of drop when playing Octane right now. So maybe Octane is not it. Uh, maybe I'll play Seer. I did say before that, like, actually, I don't know if I said this stream. It might have been, uh, it might have been off stream when I said that if you're going to play a scan legend, you might as well just play Seer because it's more overpowered. But uh, maybe I'll just play here for now. Well, maybe I'll play Vantage. Vantage is always fun. I wish they gave her a smaller hitbox because um, her hitbox is huge, so you just get hit by every single every single shot. Wraith. Uh, I I've actually like started to play less Wraith. Been like expanding into other legends, but maybe Wraith. It's been a while since I played Wraith actually. You know what? I'll play race for a few rounds. If if it, if it bad luck like Octane was, then then I'll switch over to like Vantage or Seer. I kind of want to get a 4K on Bloodhound or Vantage next. I feel they are the next uh, the next legends that are like 
fun for me to play because i mean i have a 4k on lifeline and valkyrie of all people like i don't even play them that much dude i've maybe played like 10 rounds total with valkyrie and i've played probably even less with lifeline This is kind of a weird drop path, like, I don't really want to drop boundary, but then that's kind of far. Just everywhere is kind of far, actually. Like, all my usual drop places. Got a good feeling about this area. Cancel that. The 2k will come eventually. It's just a matter of time, trust. Whether it's a 2k, a 4k, it, there's a little bit of luck involved. There's, there's skill and luck involved. Because, I mean, in my opinion, if you're trying to farm it in uh, pubs, then you kind of have to hot drop. And then you have to get lucky with what guns you get. You have to get lucky with... Hold up. There are people. Dude. Give me a good gun. Come on. take this but you have to get lucky with what guns you get you have to get lucky with um what kind of people you're landing with because if you're landing with a pred i'm sorry but the the chances of getting out of drop zone when you're landing with a pred not very high uh Okay, this is pretty good for now. Up. I would love to fight, but at the same time, I don't know. Oh, they're close. This is a bad spot. I need to run. Shoot. My Wraith Fuse is kind of sluggish right now. Recharging my shields. Okay, that's one down. Oh no! I got stuck on the corner! <laughs> No, all that running, all, all that damage. And for what? For nothing. <laughs> I can't believe it. I was playing it so well, so safe and all that. And then I get stuck on the corner. Oh no. See, that's the thing with Apex. You could be doing so well, one mistake, and it's over. Especially, uh... Especially if you're playing solo. I kind of... Um, I wish I got the the recolor Wraith Heirloom though. But unfortunately it didn't come out when I got my... Uh, when I got my... Heirloom Shards. Yes. To be honest, if you have both then it's kind of the best of both worlds. I mean like, of course it's the best of both worlds. But you get the the mythic uh, mythic wraith banner frame. You get the mythic wraith pose. You get both heirlooms. I would I would use the hope dawn one because I just think it looks a little bit nicer. But I mean, this kunai kind of fits my avatar. It's blue and black. So I mean, I have that going for me, I guess. I, I've thought many times about what heirloom I should get next. I'm mostly leaning towards Octane or Bang. Because... Horizons, it's a cool idea. Like, you don't you don't often see a mace of all weapons. But it's just not my kind of weapon. So... I thought that Wraith didn't see me. 
I thought <laughs> I saw him, but I didn't think he was gonna turn back and start shooting at me. I thought he was gonna go like inside the room at least. I probably spent the most money on Wraith 2. Just solely... I mean, like, aside from the heirloom... Just solely on skins, I probably spent the most on Wraith. I have, like... Three paid skins. But they're also cool! Like, uh, I, I got the... Um, is it, like, Wraith Crew? This one. This one is so sick. Like, the color scheme and everything, it looks so nice. And then, uh... I have kind of like the the astronaut looking one. Um, the it's like black and red, and then there's the other one which is like white and purple or something. But those skins are super cool. So this is your champion. After this, we should hang out. We should hang out. Probably gonna get bang. Cause the thing is, Octane is not great in ranked. Octane is not great in ranked for the sole fact that you can't just like push everything, everything. And um, I mean, like I don't, I don't have the guns to go to push everything, so it's like it's not a good decision to play Octane. And then. Getting distracted. But. Octane is just not the best for ranked. And I mostly play ranked other than just right now. I either play ranked or I play solo duels. There's no. Because to be honest. I don't really play with friends a lot in Apex. Now that I think about it. I mean recently I have I guess. Oh, they're fighting. They're doing stuff. They just got it down. Okay, give me this. Oh, I got bamboozled. He's healing. Void running. Rings far a minute to go. Nope, I'm missing, I'm missing, I'm missing. Just using a Phoenix kit. Wait, do you res? Wait, no way, did he actually res? Oh, what? He actually shot it? Oh! I didn't think he was going to res. I should have just taken the, the purple swap and gone out to shoot, but I really wanted, I really wanted it. Really wanted that Phoenix hit. Uh, I mean, Wingman did work for the first two shots and I missed the rest. <laughs> okay, maybe like one or two matches, one or two more matches with Wraith and then... I don't know, I've been having luck with Bloodhound apparently. Like people are running away from me when I'm playing Bloodhound, so maybe I just go back to playing Bloodhound. Introducing the champion. I don't have the confidence to play to play Pathfinder on stream. Cause then that just means me dying. <laughs> okay. We got a lot of people. Uh, 
forgive me? Oh, I have lost. Okay. I like this double wingman. I'll take it. Never mind. I'm missing my shots. Never mind. Don't look at me. Oh, there's someone right there. Oh, I'm hitting the wall. Oh, shoot. Okay, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe I don't like double wingman. Oh, shoot. Okay. You know, one more as, as race. One more. The map changes in three minutes. What's after Broken Moon, actually? Because if it's World's Edge, then I might have even more trouble. I don't like World's Edge as a as a unrated match lobby or map lobby. Wait, lobby map? Lobby map. Cause everyone either lands everyone either lands fragment or everyone lands fragment. So you you land fragment and win or you land fragment and die for ten rounds straight. <laughs> I always hate on Stormpoint, but I honestly believe Stormpoint is one of the better um, maps for at least public lobbies. I don't really like playing Stormpoint for ranked because uh, everyone's running the marksman or like the charge rifle or just snipers or and marksman weapons in general. World Jared is a great map for ranked, but I I I I I. I yeah. Oh, that guy got all the good badges. Damn. It's like five mil damage too. Dude, I was an avid construction dropper before they removed it. Like, I get why they removed it. They can't have it under construction for like six seasons straight. But damn, I miss it, man. <laughs> Lobo and I had the same freaking idea, dude. Okay, if he's running, I'm just gonna take this. I'm gonna make sure I reload. Did he drop? No way, right? Watch, he's gonna be on night. I know this guy. I know these people. Never mind, maybe not. <laughs> Havoc! Havoc underrated gun. Changed my mind. Fuck. He on the corner right on time. Just a minute until the ring closes, huh? Good. It's not bad. Oh no, I'm dead. Oh, he armor stopped already. What? Excuse me? Thank you. Patching myself up. Okay. I don't really know how to play this. They got G7, they got height, they got everything that I want. Can't leave myself too exposed. Oh my gosh, she got the bat off right on time. Oh, okay. World's Edge. For some reason, my GY is bugged out. I cannot change legends. I cannot do anything. Except for going to match. 
Apex has locked me out of doing anything other than playing the game. Oh, okay. I think since uh, since it is switching to World's Edge, I think it's time that I play Horizon. Cause I don't believe that Bloodhound or Wraith benefit too much from World's Edge, but for sure there are a lot of good height spots you can get with Horizon. So I'm gonna just go ahead and play Horizon. I've always thought that Valkyrie might be a fun one to learn too. Like, it's like Horizon. Like, not not many legends have the ability to just gain height on you, like instantly. So, Valkyrie and Horizon, they both like. They have that ability that not many have, and since not many legends have it, not many uh, players are accustomed to shooting people just like going upwards. Especially if you're like going over their head. Like if you're going over their head, they're probably missing missing like a lot of the shots. I don't think I'm too interested in picking up another legend besides obviously Revenant though. Not for now at least. Okay, fragment we go. Always fragment. We love fragment. I don't like the the like change part of Road's Edge. Like I think they call it Monument now. It used to be Fragment West. I just uh. I don't like it. I don't like the building. It's like way open. So. Oh, I'm dead. Ah, oh, her teammate came. Okay. We're going back to blood, blood down. <laughs> Bloodhound's just just good luck right now, so the Raven will guide me. Okay, I think the best loadout right now is honestly either Volt PK or Wingman PK. There's there's no there, there's no in between right now. Not not right now at least. I mean, I'll take a massive too, but 100% the PK has been doing me a lot more justice as of late. I have so many PK skins, but I only use one. <laughs> I think I, I crafted this one from the collection event a few a few um, patches back. It looks super clean, but I'm pretty sure the iron sights are like pretty bad. But I mean, I like the look of it, so like, I'm gonna use it. <laughs> this Volt skin is probably my favorite. I think this is the Season 10 one. Season 10 is when I started playing too, so it was so hard for me to level up the Battle Pass. Like, I had to try really hard to try and get the damage ones, dude. But, I'm glad I put in the time and effort, because this Volt skin is so sick. And then, I kind of wish I had an R9 one that was from a battle pass. R9 and R3 both, I don't have any like, good battle pass skins for them. Or like, skins in general. I do have this one, but... Meh. I think the aesthetic looks nice, but it also... I don't know, something about the white, and something about like... The kind of almost dull colors in general makes it look like, dirty. 
but is this one like it looks very modern or like i mean it's neon you can't really go wrong with like these bright colors i guess it can't really like look dirty but yep i wish i had better skins but i'm no longer at the point where i want to be spending apex coins i just want to spend my, uh, my apex coins on my battle pass I am with you. We fight. To be fair, this uh, this stream, like game wise, game wise, and like just playing in general, I think I've already done better than the last stream. Last stream was very rough, <laughs> very very rough. Okay. Actually, my favorite spot to land now is um lava siphon. Lava siphon, climatize. Oh, I got sneeze. Ah. Okay, but lava siphon and climatizer. I love I love both because um I just got used to playing around those buildings. They have like windows that people don't really expect, and usually there's like. A lot of good loot in that one like area so you don't really have to like loot too much after i wish i could land there but no one lands like not many people land there in pubs so if i land there i might not be fighting for a while they are here i'm so dead bruh She's scared. She doesn't know where I'm gonna come from. Bye bye. I love nades. Oh my god. That worked out so well. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm not a big fan of three times on Nemesis, so. How is my, is my sneeze so quiet? Uh, well, I mean, I did turn my face away. And, um. Just like. I, I was always taught to, like, sneeze into your elbow. Since one is more sanitary than sneezing into your hand. Oh, I hear people. But I've always been taught to sneeze into your elbow. So, I like... Oh, this is a rough position. Oh, they're fighting in there. Let me in, let me in, let me in! Let me in on that! Hope they're flying up. Freak. Oh, shoot. This might be a tough one. Oh, he got like... Oh, he has the wingman. Damn, he hit me with that headshot. Ah. Nemesis has not been doing me justice lately, dude. Maybe I should just use the vault. Grr. 
Okay. Hmm. Seer. Seer will get me close to a win. <laughs> it's very true that within World's Edge, as long as you make it out of Fragment, there will be like six squads left. And chances are, since you started in Fragment, you'll have like red armor, you'll have the entire fucking loot location. It is crazy. You'll probably have crafting too, because technically Fragment is two POIs, so. Kind of wish it was Stormpoint. I like. I think just recently, like. I've been playing a lot of Stormpoint on on ranked, and then just just like coincidentally, I've also always logged on when it is Stormpoint on um on like the the mixtape too. So like, just have a lot of experience on Stormpoint now. Very strange. One funny thing I've always noticed my aim is that um I actually after a warm up I seem to do worse strangely I don't know if it's like an ego thing or if it's like a, I got too used to one gun but I do really good the first to like maybe like the first 5 games and then after uh, after those, my my performance kind of diminishes for a bit. Very awkward. I kind of wish it wasn't like that because that means if we have a long play, play session, then my 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 skill might deteriorate over time. I had a win streak of three before. I did not know that. One thing that I always look back on with like just my stats is my average damage dealt per game. Because when I started, I'm pretty sure my average damage dealt was like maybe 150, maybe like 150 to 200, I assume. Because I was not landing my shots, man. But just like through playing over the course of like two years, basically. I think it's been two years. Because I started in season 10, we're leading into season 8. And of course, four seasons in a year. But over the course of two years, I've been able to bring that number all the way up to 450. Which is, when you're bringing up an average, it's always kind of hard. Because, um... Obviously, it's a like collective of a game. So like even one game where you do like 3k damage might not affect it too much. It's okay. It's okay, Blade. Remember, skill comes with practice. And there's always more that you can practice with. Because clearly, I'm not practicing enough. There's such a thing as practicing too much. Don't know. Oh, get stuck! You're dead. Where they at? I'm inside the next train already. Time to prepare. Move! Move! I swear to God, I'm dead. <laughs> no! The ash! The ash creeps me so hard! <laughs> Oh, 
Ash blocking the damn doorway, man. Man, if, if those two didn't come, thing is, they're 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 a whole whole different party too. So like, I mean, if I stood there and faced them, probably would not have won. Man. But that Arch Star stick though, like Arch Star sticks, they gotta be one of the most satisfying things in the game. It's like for for your average player at least, it's so rare. But when you do it, it's like 10 damage, they're slowed, you can hit them with like your entire mag, and then you get an extra 75 damage right after. Like what? It's the freest knock ever, dude. I love Arcstar sticks. In my opinion though, I'd say um I'd say like the the perfect sky nade sky, sky frags the most satisfying thing. Like when you, when you think about the amount of amount of skill and calculations, that it sounds so weird, but the skill and calculations that go into putting in a good sky frag or like just even intuition it is it is so satisfying i do um i do play gun run for practice from time to time just like un, un it's unlucky but uh i never really seem to get on when gun runs on mixtape but honestly, gun run is one of my favorite game modes. Like, you just shoot, you get to practice with every single gun in the game, basically. And it's just constant fighting. That's... I, I don't like control as much. Because there is some, some more like... I guess like IQ or like positioning element to it. Whereas like gun run is like a very small condensed area. Control has like points, so it's harder to find people. Like I find myself a lot in, in control where since I'm trying to go for like uh, position plays, like not not like position as in like capturing positions, but position as in simply um, positioning myself in a way that I won't get beamed. I tend to not see a lot of enemies, so. It, uh, I feel like I get less straight up gun practice in control, and so I, I just prefer gun run more. I I wish they uh, like just had it permanent, like kept them separate. Cause I'm sure some people prefer gun run, some people prefer control, but I do see the problem where uh, if you have them separated, then it's a uh, it's a smaller bucket to draw from, so queue times are going to be longer and all that. Which is kind of sad, because honestly, it's like... I would be totally down to hop on for literally like 10 minutes to play a gun run for like a short break. And then go back to like doing work or something. But because they're in the same mixtape and they're like rotating so much... The chances that I get on and it's gun run and then the chances that I get on it's gun run and I can play more than one match is kind of low. I'm so dead, dude. Never mind. No one shot me. Oh, get destroyed, Pathfinder! Mock me! Yeah! <laughs> oh my god, wait. That Bloodhound wasn't even the same team. You're joking, bruh. I thought it was the same team, so I was gonna use his teammate as cover. Oh, unlucky. Okay. For for my final act, I'll play 
Bangalore. Play, I'll play Bangalore for a few rounds and then it's getting kind. It's get it, the the stream's running like just just a little bit long, so might have to cut it soon. But I want one more good game. I always gotta end on a good game. It's it's a trap whenever you say I gotta end on a good game. Like, you you'll literally be like, okay, I'll end it after the next good game. The next good game is like twenty games later. And they're like, each game is like at least three, four minutes long because you gotta get in queue, you gotta drop, and then you gotta fight. So the the next good game is like an hour later. <laughs> but ending on a loss, ending on a game where you drop and then you just die right away, that's not fun. Then that's not me. This color scheme is kind of cool. The color scheme of like purple and orange. It like, it kind of reminds me of Halloween, but at the same time, it just looks like such a good color scheme. Purple and gold is super nice too. Like, is there a horizon skin with purple and gold? I guess this one. This horizon skin is so nice. Okay, I go Bangalore. I win this game. Maybe not win. Maybe I, I just get out of Fragment. But I, I, I get a good game in. And then probably call it. It is so crazy to me when I think about like... They're like pros and not... Sometimes not even pros, but like just like really good streamers like Death. like people that don't play on pro teams but they're just really good at the damn game it is so impressive that they have average damage of like probably over 1k probably like 2k 3k like i think it's timmy revealed his um not like a while back but he revealed his uh i don't even know when but he reveals his and it was somewhere in the thousands it's crazy to me crazy crazy i can't even find a gun you're so right blade i jinxed myself so bad okay i'm gonna i'm gonna pass up on the nemesis for now Oh, they're going here. No, I didn't think he was gonna push through that, bruh. Come on, come on, get up. Oh, I should have thrown. Yeah. I should have just used that as like a proxy mine and thrown it close as hell to me. Ooh. If I had big heals too, maybe. I think if I had a bat there. I should use. Actually, no, I don't think smokes would have helped me there, really. Because it would have made it hard for me to shoot too, so... Uh... Bangler's passive is so nice, so... The double time is so nice. Wait, I have this and I don't use it? What am I doing? Wait... Actually, no. 
Uh, I, I I like the current banner I have more actually. What the badges do I have? Not much actually. I wonder how they're gonna give out master badges because I mean before if you place masters both split it would give you an animated badge but there's there's no split actually it's just one full season so are they just gonna give everyone an animated badge or like is there a threshold to get it like you have to have over two like 20k or something so I'm kind of interested on how they're gonna do that I mean I myself would not mind if they gave me an animated badge. The animated badge is so much cooler than just like a, a static badge, so. Maybe my, my skill is falling because the the caffeine. Uh, I... I drank and I still am drinking um, energy drink while I'm playing. So maybe I'm experiencing like a sort of crash. So maybe that's why my 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 gameplay in general is like starting to starting to fall. I don't want to blame it on caffeine though, because. I'm a caffeine addict, man. I got energy drinks. I got instant coffee. I got tea. I can literally have any source of caffeine I want. And then there's water. Because stay hydrated, everybody. Water is important. <laughs> Caffeine helps you get through life, man. Introducing your champion. I think of the three, though. I mean, like, recently, uh... Recently, I've been really into, like, kind of sugary, more sugary drinks. That's why I've recently bought, um, energy drinks. But, um, usually, I, I think usually, I'm more of a coffee guy. Even though... Coffee is what I drink probably the least. Because... Um, I have a Starbucks nearby. But I don't want to spend money. I have... Uh, I have instant coffee, but... It's not very strong. It's actually like... It's kind of sweet and it doesn't like really taste like coffee. Uh, and then just the other two are like... More easily accessible. Damn, why does this floor never have anything, dude? They're right there, aren't they? Round one. I don't want to get hit by that. Okay. Oh, the slide line. I didn't even see the slide line. Okay. Well, they're bunkering down there. I'm not gonna worry myself there. If they're bunkering down, it's never a good idea to push a Watson and a Caustic. Especially if they're on the same team, so I'm just not gonna worry about that. I'm gonna look over here instead. I don't know which one he is! Oh, what was that? They were both 1 HP. That Bloodhound just trolled that Mirage so hard.
Okay. I think they're in here. I'm not one to hold the building. I'm one to, to push in, but... I see a wingman here. I'm gonna grab that wingman. Okay, maybe just for now I'll use the sideline. Just for a bit. Just for a little bit. Are they bunkering down in... Man. I hate playing against Caustic and Watson, man. Oh boy, I saw him. They're right above me. If one of them drops, he might die. I'm just saying. Oh, what do I do? Come on. Frag out. Frag out. Oh, Already on my mark. Firing for effect. that's got to hurt. GG's! I love Skynade so much. Holy. Alright, there's more fighting over there, so I will go. Oh my gosh, I can't hear a shot. What? Oh no, I'm whiffing. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Oh. No, get the fuck off me, please. Oh no, they're right there. I can't believe I won that. Holy crap. Okay. Well. Time to go again. Oh no, I'm hitting. I'm missing all my shots. Like actually all of them. I have no idea where they are now. Okay. Oh my gosh. That was so scary. Okay. Okay. I'm out of sniper ammo actually. I need to search for sniper ammo. No, give me sniper ammo, please. I need more sniper ammo than I need shotgun ammo. Oh my gosh. No way that happened. No. My shields. Okay, I'll just heal down here for now, I guess. Okay, I thought I, thought I heard someone. I, I got spooked for, for a little bit. Shoot. I might just run in the zone, see if I can find a sniper. Uh, nope. Nope. I'll take a bat though. Nope. No sniper ammo. Okay. Hey, 
Replicator touching down. All right, give me something. Give me an L star. Or a Kraber. I wouldn't mind. What? Hey, yo, no, don't do that. I'm already low. I didn't heal. Dude, that's not cool. They landed on me. Oh my gosh, he had the Kraber. Wait. I can't believe it. I remember his name too, I think. Well, that was a very anticlimactic way for that game to end. But I almost got out of fragment. I can't I can't believe they just landed on me. Holy shit. Okay. Well, I mean it's pubs. If they were looking for kills, then like congrats. <laughs> But I'm uh, I'm probably gonna end the stream there. That was not it wasn't a terrible game, but it wasn't a good game. And yeah, I think that's it. So no more streams for this week, huh? It's Friday. It is so weird. Time time is so weird because my my sleep schedule is so messed up. Like I'm sleeping at six a.m. six a.m. waking up at like. I don't know. It's either I wake up at 10 or, or like not even 10, 12. Either I wake up at, I sleep at 6 and wake up at 12 because I have a stream or I wake up at like 2 or 3. So, I my perception of time is not the best. Not right now. But, yep. Uh, that's all for this stream because I, I need rest. I, I woke up early. So, Thank you for watching. Thank you for coming, Blade. It's fun. It's fun playing Apex. Fun talking to you. And I hope everyone has a good day. And that's all from me. I'm out. Bye bye.